This is step 5, or video 6, in the 8-part video series on how to solve the Rubik's Cube 3x3. In this step, you will be solving the edges by moving them around the cube and putting them into their final position. As you can see on my example cube, it matches up on the side here and on the top. So I have my top cross, and it matches up on all of the sides, like this. So now, this also involves one algorithm. It's a little trickier to remember, but it is very fast once you, once you start to perform it. Now, there are multiple different cases that you can have. The first one is where two edges match up up across from each other, orange and red, for example. There's one where all four edges are in their correct spot, and then there's the one I have now where only one matches. And then there's, of course, the two matching on the side here. But all you have to do is do a U-turn when you have two matching adjacent, and only one will match on a different side. So, in this case, with only one matching, you want to do the following algorithm with the one matching in front of you. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. So now, as you can see, it has put all of them in their correct spot. But sometimes, it won't do that. So see, I have it only matching in one spot, not in the other three, and I will perform that algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. So last time it solved it, but this time it didn't. See now the red piece is here, rather than the blue piece that was there before. And all this means is that you'll have to perform the algorithm one more time. And just to clarify a little more, by doing this algorithm, it puts the piece that was here up here, the piece that was here, right here, and the piece that was here, all the way over here. So by doing this algorithm, it'll move this yellow-red piece, when it's on the blue side, over to back here, where it's on the red and yellow now. So when I do that algorithm one more time, it'll put it in its correct spot. So you want to do R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. And that will solve the top cross. Now, there is one more possibility that I need to show you. That is... I'm not exactly sure how to get to it. Here we go. Oh, that solved it. Okay. Um, I cannot get to this right away, so let me just switch two pieces. In order to not waste any of your time. And that solved it. Wow, I'm smart. Okay, so let me switch these two this time. So now... As you can see, it matches on the front here, like you would normally want it to, and on the back, but these two don't match, on the right and left sides. So what you want to do is hold one of them solved in front of you and perform the algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. Now, as you can see, these two match, but these two don't. Or you could have these two matching, and these two not. And so all you have to do is perform a U move, like I told you at the beginning of this video, and now we'll only match on one side, and then you can perform the algorithm. In this case, if you want to use a little bit of look ahead, this blue piece will be moved up to here, which means that it will be on its correct side. So all I need to do is do that algorithm one more time, and then I have solved my top cross. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. 
And that is solving the top cross. Please click the link in the annotation or in the description on your right for the sixth part, which is moving the corners around so they are in their correct spot.